This short video will highlight the uh, functionality of the L298 motor controller. Uh, the first step we're going to do uh, is using the 298 along with uh, manual switches to control the logic inputs. And as you'll see here uh, in a couple of seconds, you can also do the same thing automatically with microprocessor control. We're using two small DC motors with fan blades attached so you can visibly see not only motion but also uh, change in direction. Here you can see the full circuit setup. We're using a triple output power supply, uh, 12 volts for the motor side, and uh, obviously 5 volts for the logic control side, showing both the motors and the 298 controller. And now here's a highlight of manual operation. Enable, on, on the bottom motor controller. The two input states are opposite. You get motor control in one direction. There's counterclockwise. The two states are opposite and the opposite and you have counterclockwise. Even with the enable on, if both inputs are the same, no output. Both inputs are the same even with enable on, no output. You can also control the two motors separately, leaving that one running. Obviously, if you're going to do this kind of operation for long periods of time, you probably want to heat sink that 298 with the same function. If both inputs are the same, no motor output even with the enable on. If both inputs are opposite, change in direction. Even if both inputs are opposite, the enable is the main on and off function. Here we have the same basic setup with the two uh, DC motor uh, with fan blades being controlled by an L298 controller. The difference now is that the high and low inputs are coming from a microprocessor, in this case a basic stamp from uh, Parallax. Um, the highs and lows are sent through data lines and you can see the state of the highs and lows with the indicators. The red LED on the top and the bottom are the enable signals and the green LEDs on the top and the bottom are the directional signals. So as you'll see, you can have several different combinations. Both fans on the same direction, both fans in opposite direction. One fan on while the other one's off, and so on. And you can continue to do this. You can change the amount of time that each one of the fans is on and off, and any combination thereof. 